people of Indonesia, Malaysia, and Bangladesh help spread dreams of Muhammad Qasim. In this dream, I see that I am in an area of a big building construction, like a government institution with blocks and buildings. There are also open grounds and some parts where construction is still under progress. There is darkness all around. There are also many security people present in this area. In this darkness, I am walking around amongst many other people whom I don't know. I then send a message that we have to spread the true Islam of Nabi Muhammad peace and blessings upon him. I don't know who I sent this message to, but I just send it. Then I feel that the message has reached some mysterious people and they begin chasing me. I then begin to run to evade these people and I reach a place. When I arrive at this place, I pray to Allah that, Oh Allah, for how long will we keep on running? Please show us the path out of this. Then I find a pond nearby with blue colored water. By that point, some people have also joined me, about three or four, but we don't talk about Islam openly because of mysterious people around. I see that some people of Indonesian, Malaysian, and Bangla descent are rising from the bottom of the pond to the top. Then they appear out of the blue water. I feel that Allah has sent these people towards me. This group of people indicate to me to go in the same direction as they came from. I then tell the people with me that we have to go in that direction. Then all of us go there. As soon as we enter the pond, we start descending, like an elevator. We end up in a room, like a room of a hotel. And this hotel has a window through which I can look outside. I see that this place is near mountains. I say, Allah has helped us reach this location by His mercy, and now we can begin working freely. The Indonesian, Malaysian, and Bangladeshi group of people are not present in the room, but I feel that they can see us from far away. While I'm looking around the room, I see more people coming and joining us in the room. Then, I find myself in a separate area of the room, and I begin to feel hungry. I see that there is nothing to eat except some dry, flat bread and some leaves. I say that in such a tough situation, even this food is a blessing for us. I began eating the roti with leaves. The leaves had a mixed sweet and sour taste, and they tasted fairly good. I think to myself, leaves normally taste bitter and bad, but these ones are tasty. Then it comes to my mind that during the difficult times of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings upon him, he also had similar diet and difficulties, so we should be thankful to Allah. Then, I feel that the Indonesian, Malaysian group of people are watching us from far, and they say that these people are living in difficult conditions and their food is not good either. We must arrange for food and sustenance for them so that they can live more comfortably and work easily. Then I say that Allah is helping us and continuously watching over us at all times. We must begin our foundation and grow it so that the people from Indonesia, Malaysia, and Bangladesh can also reach us easily and we can work together to spread the true Islam of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings upon him.